Scorpio. Welcome to your Singles and Curious reading. I hope all is well and fabulous for you. What's going on? I was thinking about the Singles and Curious and I absolutely love it. I do. But I also thought 20 and 30 minutes is ridiculous. So we're going to reduce that. Yes. <laughs> we are going to reduce the timing on them. You know, I don't think there's no reason why we can't get to the point faster on S and C's, right? What's going on? If you're new to my channel, welcome. So glad that you're here. I hope you like what I do, how I do it. Put it in the comments, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you. And for those of you who've been around, welcome back. What's going on? What's going on? I decided to go ahead and start with oracles. That way, I'm less likely to forget them. <laughs> What's going Okay, what? Broken heart. Yeah, well, okay. That's for some of you, not all of you. And then also for some of you, September coming up. Nine. In other words, it may not have anything to do with the card, but the number itself, September, might be a marker for some of you. Well, if some of y'all are experiencing some broken heart, I hope you get the hell over it. Let's take a look. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. What's up? The magician in the mirror. <laughs> we manifest him. Good. What's going on? Okay. Woman holding a heart. Mm, Queen of Cups in this uh, equivalent or... Queen of Wands, depending on how you look at it, but since it's the heart space and emotionality. Some would argue she's the Queen of Wands. I, she might be a combination of the two. I don't know. But I see you as having your heart open and you're trying to manifest. Mm. Okay. <laughs> and that's what you're manifesting. Yay. <laughs> yes, it's a matching suite. Oh my God. No way. Scorpio, honey, you got a matching suite. We got his and hers on the heart space. Ooh. I see what you're manifesting, baby. Mm -hmm. I'd be manifesting that one, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like his hair. All right. What's going on? What's going on? Scorpio, shut up. I know. Mm -hmm. What's going on? There it is right there on the split. Manifesting, magician, the four of wands. Ooh. All right, what? Nine of wands. Okay, great. Your energies. This is good. This is good. This is good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I've seen nothing but strife. There you are. What you looking at? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Some of y'all literally looking at a copy. Right there. Or you're like, hmm, talk to me. What's going on? <laughs> what's going on? Please what I need to see, please. For Scorpio, what's going on? I know. Oh, my. Oh, this is exciting, honey. Oh, this is exciting. Stop. Ace of Cups. What's going on? All right. Show me what I need to see, please, for the Scorpio energy. What's up? Uh-huh. Good, excellent. Very good, as you should be. Single and lovely and open and strong and confident. Ed. Good job, honey. Good job. Keep on keeping on. Person surrounding you. Four of Pentacles. They're withholding. We will see why. And there's nothing new there. You got to figure out right now if you even want to bother with that. Now, typically, withholding is not good. If somebody can't present themselves openly and easily the first time. Okay, but let's keep on. Is the attraction instant? Nine of Cups? Yep, it is. So what's the fucking problem? I don't know. Perhaps they tend to be very reserved. But as far as I can tell, I'm the two positive nines then, like I said, for some of you, September, okay? The emotional and mental or physical attraction, two of swords, overthinking, willful blindness. <sighs> the inability to make decisions. Mm. What we find attractive about that, I do not know. Perhaps you are blinded to their trait here. It's willful blindness, possibly, for some of you. In other words, you're overlooking this person's not-so-great aspects. I don't know. Challenges. Ten of Wands. Yeah, this might be a pain in the ass. Okay, when we're how? Six of Wands, relatively soon. Victorious, relatively soon. Wand is more immediate on the upfront. Okay, so this could be hours or days, possibly weeks. All right, but let's keep on keeping on. Just please know that regardless of what I see, your energy is lovely, literally open to change. Like literally, your underlying energy is open to change. That's the literal translation. The Wheel of Fortune is Seven of Cups. You're considering options in the hope of change. So whoever you meet that does not represent change is probably not for you. If they are not capable of change, or they don't, or they're too conserved or reserved, I should say with their energy, be it their time, their emotionality, then this is probably not the one for you. So do keep that in mind, okay? Because this is what you're looking for, baby. Right fucking here. You keep that in mind. 
You want someone to be on the same damn page with you, okay? Not against it, with it. Okay, show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? Show me what I need to see, please. Show me what I need to see, please. What's going on? What's going on? All right, show me what's going on. Let's do another one. Nine of Pentacles, you had some thoughts about it, perspective, you might have some Pisces in your chart, you let me know as you see fit. Um, you've had some thought about it, following your intuition, getting back on track with that, where it was meant to be, where it needs to be. You evoked heavy, heavy water. So even though your practical day-to-day uh, -day self is the Nine of Pentacles, you're confident and secure in who you are, it is the garden of your own making and of your own design, okay? Um, your intuition was telling you you need more perspective about yourself and what it is that you actually want to achieve. So again, if this person does not equal the output for which you want to achieve, leave them alone. I'm telling you that right fucking now. They might be hot as hell. I don't know. Okay. He's pretty fine. But that should not override your judgment. Or she, sex irrelevant, tarot, get over it. You cater to men. You cater to women. Honey, you saying whatever fits your particular agenda. Sex is relevant in tarot. I've said that till I was blue in the face. Okay. Oh, don't give me that bullshit. All right, Ace of Pentacles. Your person is holding out for the ultimate offer. I don't know if they're looking at you to make the offer to come forward. Or you're waiting on them, but they're holding out for the ultimate offer. Thing is, I don't know what that is. Um, I see. Okay, shit just got real. Take it resonates, leave it does not. If it's not your story, don't force it to fit. Me only make yourself miserable. I was wondering if your two energies are even aware of each other. They may not be yet. Because you seem to be quiet by yourself. That's another thing. The High Priestess is often quiet. It's not just about using your intuition. For you, it seems to be both. You're using your intuition about getting more perspective on your emotionality, where you want it to be, where your life, and where you want it to go. I see that you know what it is that you want. So I don't even know that you're necessarily in contact with this person. They are purposely withholding Four of Pentacles their best offer, Ace of Pentacles, but some, because something in the world needs to end. Okay, it's not done cycling out. It will be. Uh, so you may not even be aware of this person yet. They might be new new, or even if you know them, you don't know them in that way. There's something in the world that is ending. So if they come to you with an offer, they're withholding literally one of those pentacles that she is holding is the ace of pentacle. This person's best offer is on hold until something in their world has ended. Okay, so whatever it is that they're cycling out from, it's not done yet. I don't even know if you know this person. I see you just sticking to your guns over here. I know who I am and know what I want. Good. Keep on keeping on. Okay. Is the attraction instant? It looks like it. I just know it feels good. It feels joy sunny. And again, September might be a big marker for some of you. Show me. Page of Swords. See? Um, dude. Okay, somebody wears somebody. Whether or not it's mutual, I don't know. But I do know that somebody wears somebody else. Either you know this person, you're watching them, just the idea of you lights you up, but I'm thinking it's more like the reverse. This person is conscientiously, consciously understanding that they are withholding their best offer because something in their world is not cycled out yet. So that tells me it's on the reverse aspect. They get simple joy just by watching you. Okay? They get simple joy just by watching you. And that, that kind of breaks my heart. But, you know, it, 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 it's also their truth. They have such simple joy just by watching you. It lights them up. So, again, if you know this person, I don't know, but they know you. Okay? Um, yes, they watch you. And they get simple joy just by, you know, and yes, it's also attraction. Oh, we just pulled two pages, baby. Okay? Low-level communication. It's not consistent and it's not frequent, but I promise you it's there. All right. <laughs> They actively watch you, as far as I can tell, and it gives them joy to do so. Uh, Nine of Cups, again, it's in this also a sense of uh, pleasure. They get pleasure, self-pleasure, okay, from watching you. And you might even communicate with them on a practical level. This could be a work thing, an acquaintance thing. I don't know, but you're not really suspecting it. Not like that. It's it's page for page, okay? There's, there's just not a lot going on there in terms of actual output, okay? But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you know this person to some extent, but their energy is reflecting back at you in terms of watching and it gives them joy to do so. 
So whether or not you find this person attractive, I don't know. That would explain maybe the Two of Swords. Perhaps you refuse to see them that way. Okay, so that's also a possibility. Let's take a look. All right, but something in the world needs to end. They're literally withholding their best offer. You are quietly understanding what it is that you do want. Okay. We don't know. Somebody doesn't know what they want to see yet. There is new love here. It's twice. You have two aces here twice. Um, somebody is refusing to see that Ace of Cups. I can't... I, I, I don't see them... That, I won't see them that way. I don't see new love with this person. I don't... Queen of Cups, there you are. You're looking at this. Five of Swords, conflicted. I refuse to see this person this way. I'm too confused. I'm too confused. The best I can hope to do is work with them or compromise. Somebody is... I refuse to... Honey, I do believe it's you. I do. Reverse energy says it applies, of course. But I'm going to tell you like I see it. Um, you refuse to see love in this person? Willful blindness in this respect. You haven't made up your mind about this particular cup for this person. You're willfully blind and you don't want to make a decision on it. You don't think it's an ace of cup that you get to have with this person, so you turn a blind eye to it, I believe. Could be the reversal. Perhaps they turn a blind eye to you. They refuse to see you that way. They refuse to see you as an ace of cups. They kind of stick you in this land of indecision. Um, I'm not entirely sure of that. They might refuse to form any sort of attachment to you until they can see you fully and completely, that kind of thing. Again, especially if their energy is not freed up and something in the world has not come to an end yet. It could be that you two are reflecting each other in terms of you both refuse to see the natural ace of cups that is between you two. You both refuse to see it at this time because now is not the time. The challenge is the ten of wands, which makes perfect sense under this person's reflection. The ten of wands, their particular burdens, their hardship has not come to an end. Let's take a look at it. Show me that ten of wands. It's like you two refuse, and I mean refuse to see the love in each other right now. Okay. It's... it's Willful blindness, but it's the both of you. Change. Exactly. The hardship, this person who's already said, I am reserving my best possible offer towards Scorpio until this, whatever this thing is, comes to an end. They have the Wheel of Fortunes over the Ten of Wands. It's just a matter of time before that burden eases, or that burden comes down, or they get to stop carrying whatever that fucking burden is. Okay. It's going to take strength. Card of Leo does not have to be. But uh, it's going to take strength. Okay, for that Wheel of Fortune to turn, that particular burden is not complete yet. So, however, Leo season is now, and I am seeing September references. All right, let's keep on keeping on. 1313, your power number. Yeah, January 26th. God, that was so specific. I don't know. That's for some of you. That was very specific. Something might be coming across your radar of awareness, as it were, in September. Okay. Show me what I need to see, please. Six of Wands. Moving forward in victory. Yeah. Moving forward in victory, literally. It's time. It's time for some of you this process is starting now, or for you the person it's starting now, or it's been happening, but there's progress even when it looks like there is none. And it does look like there is none, because it's a rather substantial challenge. Somebody's Ten of Wands, you're there, has a Ten of Wands, a burden, something that needs to, there's no topping, that's it. You can't go higher than a Ten. All you can do is either stay in the Ten of Wands and be burdened and broken for the rest of your natural fucking life, or you can have the nerve to transfame, transfame? transform, excuse me, it's been a long day, uh, with the Wheel of Fortune energy and set or reset to the Ace of Wands and find a new reason to be excited by the light of life again. It takes strength to do that. Somebody's biggest challenge is to overcome this and reset their match point, you know. Six of Wands, end of the chariot. Some of you, it's happening now. Now, we have markers to June to July. Chariot card of Cancer. High Priestess and the Hanged Man, Heavy Piscean, Cancer Scorpio Pisces, Queen of Cups, Reflecting Heavy Water. If you do believe, if you truly believe that this person is your matching sweetmate, 
Okay, the queen of hearts to the king of hearts. Or a man holding a heart and a woman holding a heart. Then it makes perf perfect sense that you two are manifesting each other. Perfect sense. And it would make perfect sense to me that you would choose to wait. It would make perfect sense to me that this person is having to choose strength in order to end something that no longer serves them. Um, I just see you two moving forward in victory under those terms and conditions for which they are there. But... It requires strength, yeah. See, we haven't gotten through it yet. There's that ten of wands. It's still lingering. Whatever this is, is current, present day. It has not ended, but it's on the verge of it. Okay. It has not, it has not come. But again, it's like we have hope. So, for some of you, like I said, September is heavy. Heavy. Okay. Also now, and then January 26th, see I'm telling you, September, again, again, and this would also be roughly eight to nine weeks, so, yeah. I don't know, but things move forward, at least in intentions, they move forward with this person. They do. Yeah. It's a new long term, Ten of Pentacles. Like I said, this person wants to offer you the best of what it is that they have to offer, but they're not free to do so yet. Queen of Pentacles underlying that point. Okay. All right, Scorpio. I don't know why I heard January 26th, but it was quite loud. It was loud. <laughs> I haven't gotten a specific one like that in a long time. Anyway, Scorpio, I hope this was helpful to you. Put in the comments as you see fit. Take care. Be well.